shit. Alright, so guys, today I'm gonna show you my top five fiction books. But I, I must tell you that I am not really reading a lot of fiction these days. In fact, for the last three years, I've not been reading fiction at all. So I'm not up to date on the current fiction uh, books. Okay, so let's get started. The first book is a very famous book. Uh, it's by Ayn Rand, The Fountainhead. I'm sure everyone's heard of this book. I bought this book about 12 years ago and fell in love with this. It's an absolutely amazing book and my favorite is uh, Howard Rock. Just an amazing character. Uh, I find him to be like a major badass. So this is one of my favorite books. Next up we have 1984 by George Orwell. Another classic. Uh, this book is about the big brother who is watching you. There was a movie made by the same name 1984. Try and catch it if you can. It's a beautiful book about an absolute world where there's this big brother who controls every move, every aspect of your life. Uh, a very scary concept, but something something everyone should read. Then we have The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. This is a beautiful book. I, I love this book. I love the protagonist in the, in the book. It's this frustrated boy who's, who's so confused in life. He's got a great heart, but he's abusing the whole world throughout the book. But it's a lovely book, everyone should read this, Catcher in the Rye. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee is one of the most celebrated books in the world. Everyone should read this book. My favorite character in the book is Boo Radley. Next up we have The Kite Runner by Khalid Husseini. Now I love this book but I hate this book. Let me explain. This book is one of those books that just makes you cry like when you read this book you just cry and you feel sad and then you feel happy but but I, I remember crying a whole lot when I was reading this book and I hated that I hated that but I loved that like this guy he, he literally takes your heart in his in his hand and just like plays catch with it like he's just playing with you throughout the book it's a beautiful story uh, I read it once I'm not going to read it again and I haven't read any of his books after this book. Why? Because I just don't want to cry like like a little little baby. I mean really this this is one of those beautiful books. Everyone should read this at least once. So so go ahead and read this and and cry. So those were my five favorite fiction books. Now I have my art class and I am really really late. So I'm gonna go. Why don't you come with me? Huh? Come. But wait, shouldn't I update you on my art class? So I think I need to update you guys on what's happening with my art class. My first class I showed you already. So after that I've been going regularly once a week and I'm actually working on my first painting now. Do you guys wanna see it? Let me show you. Yes, that's a camera.
this area, a little bit of this. Bye, Pauline. See you. Holy shit! Okay, the lift is stuck. क्या घटिया लिफ्ट है यार ये घटिया लिफ्ट फंसा दिया मुझे आधा घंटे से 